now that you know a little bit about radians, uh, you should know, <clears throat> hopefully enough, that you can understand this if we wanted to like solve some problems with them. So I'm going to remind you that if we wanted to find the area of a circular sector, you do this theta over 360 times pi r squared, pi r squared being the area of the entire circle. And if you wanted to find the length of an arc, like we learned a couple days ago, you would do theta over 360 times pi times diameter, pi times diameter being the circumference of the circle. But both of them have this theta over 360, and that part is the fraction of the entire circle that you're dealing with. And that could be, uh, you know, one-third of the circle, or uh, 300, 360 ths of the circle, or you know, 51 360 uh, It can be lots of different fractions, but this theta over 360 is the fraction. But now we're using radians. Remember that uh, pi, or I'm sorry, there are two pi radians in 360 degrees. Those two things are equivalent. And so instead of theta over 360, we're gonna start to use theta over two pi. And we're actually gonna use two pi or a theta over two pi, it, it can, it, that's what we're gonna do, but dividing by two pi can get a little tricky. Like if you look at example one, we're gonna use seven pi over nine radians. Seven pi over nine all over two pi can be a little tricky for beginning uh, geometry students to deal with. So like having a fraction as the numerator of a bigger fraction. So what I prefer to do instead of doing divided by two pi is I like to make it one over two pi, because multiplying by one over two pi is the same as dividing by two pi, and then multiply that by theta. Let's see. So like example one, it says the central angle is seven pi over nine radians. What's the shaded area? We know the radius is six. So I'm just gonna do like I wrote here. I'm gonna write, um, <clears throat> excuse me, one over two pi. That's divided by 360. That's the same thing. But then I'm gonna multiply that by seven pi over nine. And then I'm supposed to multiply that entire fraction of the circle by uh, pi times the radius squared. The radius is six. And it looks tricky because there's all these pies and stuff, but notice that there's a pie on top here and a pie on the bottom here. That means the pies actually cancel. So we're actually just doing one half times seven ninths, which is seven eighteenths. One times seven, two times nine. And I'm supposed to multiply that by pi times six squared. All right, so... Uh, all right, cool, that's not so bad. Oh, six squared is 36, so why don't I just write seven eighteenths times 36 pi. I rearranged the pi and the, and the six squared here because I think it's a little bit easier to understand and you can multiply in any order. And now, instead of doing seven times 36, I'm gonna cross cancel. 36 divided by 18 is two. And 18 divided by 18 is one. And so the answer to this problem was 14 pi square inches. Again, get out your calculator if you really want to, and you can figure out what that equals as a decimal approximation, but it's 14 times pi, and I just reduced everything, you know, to show you that that's how it works. So let's do this one. The central angle is pi over three radians. What is the length of major arc xyz? Okay, so xyz um, is all the way around the circle this way, but the pi over three is over here. So the trick is to then figure out, I'm supposed to actually do not one over two pi times pi over three, but times the rest of it. Remember that there are two pi radians in the entire circle. We would normally do 360 minus this number, but now I'm gonna do two pi minus that number. And so let's see, two pi minus pi over three, that's the same as six pi over three minus pi over three. I just, I multiplied this by three over three. And now I can get five pi, oops, five pi over three is that central angle. Um, <clears throat> and so, or that's this central angle. So now I do one over two pi times five pi over three. And then I need to take that entire thing and multiply it by pi times the diameter. The diameter is not 36. The diameter is 72, double the radius. Again, the pi's cancel. And I end up with uh, one times five is five, two times three is six, and then five six times 72 pi. That's not so bad. Sorry, I have to keep repositioning my phone. It's moving around a lot. Uh, 
72 divided by 6 is 12. And 5 times 12 is 60. So the answer to this one is 60 pi centimeters. Not square centimeters, just centimeters. So hopefully you can now figure out how to solve those radian puzzles that I gave you to do.